The Amhara region of northern Ethiopia consists largely of fertile farming land. Farmer Ayalo Nadal was born and raised here, and he hopes his children and grandchildren will also be able to live here. But Ayalo does not own the land he works. All land in Ethiopia is state-owned, and farmers have no rights to the land. With support from the Swedish International Development Cooperation, CEDA, and technical input from the consultancy company Oregut, the local authorities in Amhara have carried out a comprehensive development programme called SARDEP, the CEDA Amhara Rural Development Programme. One component of this initiative is to strengthen the farmers' rights to the land. <laughs> Habtu Asirfa, a consultant with Orgut, has come here to meet farmers who have taken part in the project. It will soon be time to harvest teff, the most important cereal crop. Farming methods in Ethiopia are very old-fashioned, and if production is to be increased, it will be necessary to introduce both new crops and more modern farming techniques. Sister, we have introduced new varieties, new farming practices to farmers. We have build the capacity of farmers through various types of trainings uh, over the years. We have been training farmers, we have been training uh, extension agents, we have been training researchers. So that capacity has assisted the, the, the region to, or the farmers to increase production and productivity. One of the major achievements of the program was of course introducing a land administration system in, in the region and by, by, by today uh, at least in the two program zones alone about 4.9 million parcels of land have been demarcated and, and registered and more than a million certificate has been delivered to, to farmers both to male and female farmers. Like most Ethiopian farmers, Ayalo Nado has a large family. He hopes his son will be able to take over the farming at some point in the future. But this has never been taken for granted, and it remained uncertain until Ayalo received a document establishing his right to farm the land. This little green book is of paramount importance to the family. <laughs> The institution responsible for the certification and registration of agricultural land is called the Bureau of Environmental Protection, Land Administration and Use. It is known as Buaplau for short, and it is a regional land survey authority. Started in 2001, it has become increasingly important in Ethiopia. Using modern GPS techniques, the Bureau's technicians measure and document the agricultural land in the region. None of this would have been possible 
without both extensive support from Swedish CEDA and the significant educational initiatives that have been taken. The hope is that this example will spread to the rest of the country. For the first certificate, is uh, mostly given by the, the World uh, Land Administration Committee, uh, the Farmers Land Administration Committee, and it's measured by uh, peace and, uh, uh, and with meters, and it's not very accurate. That is the first uh, certificate, and we are uh, doing right now to give for the second certificate for the farmers. We are measuring this one. The farmers are no longer afraid that they may lose their land. At least in this region, that fear is, is, uh, is, is gone because of the land administration system that has created by, by the region, because of the institutions that has been built up, because of the uh, land demarcation registration work that has been going on, and because of the uh, book of holdings delivered to farmers, the, now the fear is, I think, gone. Here at the university in Bahadar, a vital part of this work is carried out. With financial support from Swedish CEDA, the university has established a joint project with the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, KTH, and the Swedish consultancy company, Orgat. An academic study program for land surveyors has been developed, and some students have with time read a master's course in land management at KTH. This has been financed by CEDA and has had the benefit of Oregat's technical expertise on the ground. After completing their studies, these students will literally be able to redraw the map of Ethiopia. The registration of farmland in Ethiopia has been very successful, but critics claim that these measures are insufficient. Many believe that the land should be privatised. Privatisation may be one solution. I, I believe the essence of this, uh, the solution lies in providing a full and robust security of tenure to farmers. Under whatever uh, tenure regime it may be, the key issue, in my opinion, is security, tenure security. And this has not really uh, been achieved, in my opinion, even though some improvements have been made with the land registration and land certification. There is today a consensus of opinion that the outdated Ethiopian farming methods must be modernized and made more effective. For many, this will be a difficult transition. The policy itself is looking at the agricultural problem from a very narrow perspective. Uh, it's saying if we could only provide uh, uh, inputs and help farmers with their farms, that is sufficient for them to be able to produce enough food. But that's not, that's not, that's not the issue. It requires the modernization of agriculture, and modernization means that many of the people who are now dependent on agriculture need to be moved out of agriculture to do something else. <laughs> on Ayalo's farm, life goes on as usual. The casual visitor cannot, of course, see what has happened over the last 10 years. The greatest change is that Ayalo and his colleagues now have the confidence and motivation to invest in their farming. The achievements that we have made in terms of all these different components, I think, can be also a good recipe to, to other uh, development programs in other African countries.